we are getting very close to neat examination and we are left with two months now if you do not utilize this two months properly then your revision game is actually going to be a fail so i am going to tell you how you can up your revision game this season for your two months neat preparation and how you can take maximum benefit out of it now students when we talk about revision please understand it is not about reading your chapters over and over and over again that is not how revision happens revision should be recap that is exactly what revision means that is let's divide our 60 days into 45 days and 15 days so first 45 days let's focus on how we can deepen our knowledge in all the subjects now students when we are doing revision there is high chance that we get bored of the subject because ma'am i already studied this chapter it's so boring to read this chapter again i totally understand so what you have to do is always divide your day into two parts let's say morning half if you have taken physics after finishing that chapter, I want you to immediately solve the PYQs of this chapter. Then take a short break or take a nap. After that, your second part of the day, take another subject, revise another subject and do the PYQs immediately after learning this chapter. Now this way what happens, you have learned the chapter, you have revised the chapter and now you are solving questions so you exactly understand how much do I remember, how much better can I do this. So it becomes like a recap, also like a 360 analysis of your performance. Second part, that is your 15 days, what you are going to do, you are going to do core practice. That is you are going to solve mock papers after mock papers to just understand how much I know. Let me take a very simple example. Morning I was taking a class and most of the students knew all the concepts really well. But when it came to solving the questions, they were not able to connect the concept to the question. Why does this actually happen? This happens because you do not know that from this concept, how does the question come from? That means you do not know the framing of the question. For this, what can I do ma'am? What can I change about it? Solve after every chapter that you do, let's take you have taken a unit, genetics unit. You have done principles of inheritance, molecular basis and evolution. Now you are going to solve PYQs of this chapter. You can select the chapter and you can solve PYQs of this chapter. Now you will know that exactly how does a stabilizing directional and a disruptive graph will be asked for your examination. This way your understanding becomes better. This is the most important thing. Now, as I told you, the last 15 days when you're practicing mock paper, all of you will be thinking that where can I find the mock paper, ma'am? So students, Vedantu have launched All India Test Series and lots of students have already bought their All India Test Series. And let me tell you, this time All India Test Series will be delivered at your home or at online. If you want it to be delivered at your home, it is at a price of 1200 And if it is at online, it is at 699 which is actually similar to one of your Prime, Hotstar, Geo subscribers. So do not fail back, solve your PYQs with the help of OMR sheet. As I told you, bubbling is very important and without looking at OMR sheet or not solving OMR sheet, you will never be able to know. Now, whenever you are studying, there is chances that you get bored very fast. During this times, I want all of you to stand up change the location don't sit in your study table for you know six hours straight seven hours straight walk take a walk take your ncrt with in your hand and start walking now i want to tell you let's divide into subjects okay let's start with physics now in physics what you need to remember most importantly is about your numericals you have to solve your numericals you have to solve your formulas now you have to remember this to remember numericals and formulas you have to practice and now ma'am what about ncrt because physics ncrt it's always a confusion ncrt i would say that read ncrt for chapters like semiconductors or your units and measurements where there is basics and also where there can be assertion reason question or theoretical questions now coming to the most important thing that is again here also whenever you're preparing for physics do not ignore formulas okay for that uh, Shreya sir has done multiple videos on formulas you can check it on the channel now coming to chemistry students chemistry and biology when you think about especially organic chemistry you should know that you have to learn, you have to write and learn all the reactions. And when you come to physical chemistry, again, practice physical chemistry. That means you write and practice the numericals or the equations and etc. And organic chemistry, you have to learn every reaction thoroughly. 
Now, when you come to inorganic, I would say please trick on to tricks or mnemonics that Diksha Ma'am has told in the previous classes, where you can, you know, learn the concepts easily, especially. Uh, with your coordination compounds okay learn your coordination compounds thoroughly read ncrt line to line because a lot of theoretical questions come from this topic now coming to one and only biology that is my favorite subject biology students usually the subject is very easy but what goes wrong of not most of the students don't get 360 is because of the fact that they learn and exactly they don't know how the concept you know questions are going to come so that can happen for that all you have to do is again read line to line of ncrt but two main parts of it is short notes plus ncrt and second thing short lectures now on our channel we are doing pre-covid pattern lectures so you can stick on to that lectures which are a span of two and a half hour to three hours which you can easily watch in the morning hours so use that short lectures to revise the concept and i'm also making you do questions in between the lectures so that should do the job and at the end practice pyqs each chapter select the pyqs and select previous year pyqs and learn everything this way your physics chemistry and biology revision game is going to be super 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 strong now whenever you're doing your revision please do understand consistency is the key lot of students maybe 24 lakhs of students might be writing it out of it 1 lakh students will get government college but these numbers shouldn't scare you because students understand out of this 24 lakhs or out of the 1 lakh who deserved it these were the actual consistent students they knew how to do their revision they knew how to utilize every minute of their day so all you have to do is be consistent follow this timetable and do let me know in the chat if need 2025 is going to be your year or not because this two months is going to exactly decide if need 2025 is it going to be my year or not and I wouldn't recommend all of you to take a drop next year because as I told you as time is more NTA will change their patterns and NTA can do multiple other things so it's better crack it this year itself to crack it any help that you want from our side always ask us do let me know in the comments if you want any help that's it students if you enjoy this do like the video and also subscribe to the channel because we are going to be 200k soon